In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a system which allows any element of your scene, including your AI or anything it needs to, to get access to elements of your player, let's say the position or something, in a global way. So you can just say global dot get player position um, instead of trying to hard code or anything like that. So if this sounds interesting, go ahead and continue watching and let's get into the tutorial. Alright, so you can see here we just have a basic scene set up. So this is supposed to be kind of generalized for whatever scene you have, right? So you have AI and players and these would be added wherever or whatever, however you want to do your system. This is more of a generalized system. So um, I've got some basic scripts set up here to kind of show you what's going on and how it can be used. So I've got here, I've got the player script, right? And if we open that up, we've just got a basic get position. Now, within this AI here, if I go into the script, um, Let's say we want, when it processes, um, in this case, this is going to be something simple. We just want it to print out the player's location. Now, since we know where the player is in the tree right now, we could kind of hard code that. But um, you want it to be more generalized. So you want your AI to just ask, kind of ask your program and the program give you back the player. So it doesn't matter what scene it's in, whatever, um, you just want it there always to be like a global thing you can go to to get the player. So we're going to set that up. So we're going to go ahead and create another script. So we're going to go ahead and set up a global. So this can store global variables, um, global functions, all that kind of type of stuff. But for now, we're just going to use it to set up some global. Uh, well, actually, we're going to set up, use it to set up a global variable and a function. So we're going to go ahead and create a new script. All right. And we're going to go ahead and not call this new script. We are going to call this global um, GD. All right, so we're just going to create that. Uh, yes, fine. So this is going to be in the base directory. You can put it where if you like. Um, so I'm going to create that. You see we have all this extra code. I'd like to delete that. Doesn't really matter because it's all comments. All right, so what we want to do is we want to have a couple of, we want to have a variable and a function in here. So the way we have, the way you design this is that whenever the player add, whenever the player is added into a scene, it's going to register itself to the, the the global script basically. So this global script, because of how global works, we'll set this up as a global script a little bit later. How global works is that script's always like up there at the top, um, so you can store stuff across across scenes so you might want to store the player's health across different levels or something like that um, or their name or anything like that so you can do this as a global script in this case we just want our AI to ask the global script what is the player and the global script to just know what the player is so we'll set this up and you'll kind of see what's going on so if I go ahead and we create a new function so we're going to come down here I'm just going to copy what, they, what they've done up there and we're going to call it register player then we're going to put the brackets as you do and now we've got this we oh, oh sorry forgot one thing as well so we're going to have a function up a variable up here we're going to call this um we're going to call this player all right so you've got that you just leave it go dots happy with that it will figure out what it is and then within here um we're going to create a name within here so this is what's going to be passed into the function so this is actually going to be a reference to the player. So we're going to go ahead and create one called in player. Now you can call this already if you like. It just makes sense to me to call it in player. So that's like the player that you're inputting as the, the new one you're registering, I guess you could say. So we just do, do something pretty basic here. So we say player is equal to in underscore player. Um, Godot should be happy with that. Yep. So we're going to save, save this script. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make this global as well. So we're going to come up to project settings, click on that. Um, and if you're in general here, you're going to come over here and you're going to click auto load. So once you're in auto load, you're going to go ahead here where you find this path. You're going to select that and you're going to look for your global.gd. And you're going to click open and you can see it's already put a name here. So we're going to go ahead and click add. Now this is added as a global. Now if you already have a global, you might want to do this inside of that one because um, I'm not sure exactly how globals work, but I've had problems where I've had multiple global scripts 
and it's not happy so it kind of has to be the main top global one i've found so um if you have any problems just try to put it in your main global script but in this case we only have one global script so that's fine so that's all added so i'm going to click close here and now this is a global script all right so what we want to go ahead and do is we want to go ahead and click on the player and we want to come down to ready here we've got nothing and what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and access that root global thing so within the root um in godot um there's a root node right in the base like of the whole tree i believe and that stores it so we're going to go ahead and go dollar symbol this is just a faster way instead of um get node this this is basically a shortcut and you can see here right under the here you can see we've got root slash global so we're going to go ahead and click enter uh, you can type the whole thing or you can just let go dot auto complete it for you which is great all right so now we've got that everything's set up if everything's set up right we should just be able to go ahead and go dot and you can see we've got register player showing up here all right so you're going to click that and you're going to type it out or click enter i just like clicking enter it's faster and what we're going to pass in is the object itself so we're going to go self and what that will do is that pass a reference to this object up into the player um up into up into the global sorry all right so i'm going to click save so that's control s and just save that script and now everything should be fine now everything here should be working so we're going to go ahead and test it we're going to come over here to ai.gd or whatever script you have for your ai and within process i'm going to go ahead and create a thing that just says print all right and we're going to go dollar symbol and then we're going to go root slash global and then we're going to go dot um player you can see here all right and then we're going to go dot and something weird about go dot sort of complete doesn't find that so i'm just lazy i'm just going to come here copy and paste this and we're going to go back to ai and we're going to paste that back in remove that and if everything's working fine just save that as well if we click play what should happen is it should print the date down here so you can see sorry not the date the position so you can see it's play it's putting the position down here um if we go back to player you can see player is in that position um if we move this around and we play again you can see it's getting the position even if we um create another one of these nodes and nest that within there um you'll see this doesn't care it's still going to get the player position so by having the player be able to register up to the global class it doesn't matter where the player is or where the ai is the ai can get access to the play information you could also do the same thing with um ai so they could register themselves up into the global so that the player could get access to something like that um or anything like that but this allows easy access to anything you might need for the player like to do with ai just makes your life a whole lot easier than trying to hard code stuff